Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well with your studies. So uh, in this particular video, we are going to talk about bonds. Okay, so previously we uh, talked about financial market and um, if you talk about the bonds, so they are generally part of financial market. They belongs to um, capital market. Okay, so here in this uh, particular video, we are going to talk about the basic introduction to bonds. Basically, what are bonds? and what are the basic types of bonds and um, uh, there are so many terminologies which are generally associated with uh, bonds so we will discuss these particular ones so you can easily understand um, uh, the bonds and features of bonds right so like coupon rate we have redemption value we have face value place value uh, day count convention and all okay so this is a basic video uh, on bonds okay so we will try to understand what are bonds and what are the basic features and how to invest in bonds and what are like what are the key features for this particular one. So guys, uh, whenever we talk about bonds, so first thing it is it is part of uh, debt market. They are also known as uh, debt instruments. Debt means through these particular instruments, borrower can raise funds from the market and. Uh, if you talk about the participants, so it can be any bank, any company, any government or state government, municipal governments. So they can issue these particular instruments. And if you talk about the investors, so it can be again same, any bank, financial institutions or uh, like government or the uh, retail participants as well. Okay. So these are the instruments. These are like we can say. These are written um, documents uh, uh, through which basically borrower they generally raise funds for long term duration. Okay, so this duration is generally more than one year. It can be up to thirty years as well. Okay, so uh, bonds are debt instruments. Basically, debt means basically by using these particular instruments, borrower they generally raise funds from the market for long term duration. Okay, issued by debtors for raising funds. These are issued uh, for a specific time duration or a specific uh, period and uh, carry a fixed rate of interest uh, payable periodically. Okay, so like whenever like being an investor, if you want to invest in bonds, so you will get a fixed rate of interest over the period. Okay, whatever the uh, maturity period of that particular instruments. So bond are transferable in nature. You can transfer or even you can use bond as a collateral. Okay, so you can take loan or even you can um, uh, you can collateralize these particular security and you can invest in different different uh, securities or you can take a bond. You can use as a margin product for these particular one. So if you talk about the listing of bonds that generally happen in a primary market. And if you talk about the uh, trading, so that generally happen in a uh, secondary market. So bond are transferable and uh, traded. Traded means buying and selling in secondary market. So when um, any issuer who uh, or debtor who generally raise funds through bond, they generally list through a primary market. So, uh, there is a process that called NFO, new fund offer. We already discussed these particular terminologies in our previous videos. And after the listing, so these are traded in secondary market or which means you can in, like let's say if you want to invest in some existing bonds so you 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 can buy that particular bond from secondary market okay so basic is like these are um, the financial instruments uh, which is govern like we do have a governing authority for these particular most probably it is rbi and uh, through these particular instruments the um, borrower they generally raise fund for long term duration they are basically long term instruments so issuer of bond pay interest uh, to a purchaser for uh, using his money let's say if government of india need funds for 10 year to finance some project like let's say some highway project or some uh, some other project like um, uh, some uh, it can be defense related it can be infrastructure related and all so uh, they generally issue bonds in the market and they promise the government of India promise to pay this amount after this uh, time duration at a fixed rate of interest and they made a promise that they'll pay this much of rate of interest on that, that particular instrument. Market value of bond 
may differ from uh, the uh, face value and uh, keep changing so market value is totally uh, depend on the uh, the market factors which are demand and supply so what is the demand for that particular bonds if there is a high demand investor like let's say investor are continuously investing in that particular bond so the value of that particular bond will goes up okay so market value or market price that can be differ from your uh, face value face value whenever we talk about face value it is the value it is also known as par value okay so which is mentioned on the face of that particular bond okay so whenever you see whenever you buy a bond so there is a face value or par value mentioned on the uh, on this particular documents it can be like rupees 100 okay so this is uh, face value but market value can be 90 rupees or it can be 110 rupees because that totally depend on the trading uh, cycles okay so hope uh, with this particular one bonds is clear to all of you so basic two three things you need to remember that is bonds are debt instruments basically used for long term period long term period can be like the maturity of bond can be 1 year 10 years 15 years 20 years or it can be up to 30 years which are generally known as deep discounted bond we'll come to these particular points so basically issuer uh, or the debtor those who generally issuing these particular bonds they are raising funds for that particular for a specific time duration and they are uh, in return like those who are investing in this particular bonds, they are getting interest at a fixed rate of interest. Okay. So now there are so many terminologies which are generally associated with bonds. So we will discuss these particular one one by one. Okay. So first one, uh, coupon rate. So what is coupon rate? Coupon rate is nothing. It is, you can relate with uh, the rate of interest. Like whenever you invest in some securities, so you ask for the rate of return or rate of interest. So similarly, when we invest in bonds so we use uh, a rate of interest as a coupon rate okay so a bond carries some uh, specific rate of interest which is called coupon rate okay let's say let's say um, uh, there is a bond which is issued by government of india okay and the coupon rate is uh, eight percent per annum so this is rate of interest or in bond language it is generally known as coupon rate and here you can see the formula because uh, like some as earlier we mentioned like market price is different from your uh, par value or face value so that is generally calculated on the basis of this particular formula that is total annual coupon payment divided by par value of bonds multiply 100 okay so that is the outcome is your um, coupon rate for that particular xyz bond next one is maturity so i hope you know this particular term this is very simple so maturity is a bond is issued for a specified period of time okay so let's say government of india issued a bond for a period of uh, 10 years so 10 year is the maturity period for this particular bond any xyz company they issue a bond for a period of let's say 30 years okay so 30 year is the maturity of this particular bond okay so it can be short term like ultra short term in case of bonds ultra short term bonds are generally long term debt instruments so ultra short term that is one year to three years uh, medium four to ten years usually you will find bonds up to 10 to 15 years okay and uh, long terms that is more than uh, 10 years but whenever you talk about the maturity it is the completion or uh, uh, the the, uh, the time period after which investor they'll get their money return okay so maturity is which is uh, specified on the uh, face of that particular bonds yeah, after this particular specific time duration you will get your money back okay so that is called maturity next one redemption value so redemption value is let's say there is an investor who invested 10 lakh rupees in bonds after the maturity was 10 years after 10 years the coupon rate or the overall income from that particular bonds was supposed that 3 lakh so 3 lakh 10 lakh plus 3 lakh 13 lakh will be the redemption value for that particular bond okay so the value which the shareholder get on maturity is called uh, redemption value so it include principal plus interest or coupon uh, on that particular one so principal was supposed that 10 lakh rupees and he got um, a 3 lakh rupees um, interest 
uh, after maturity. So 13 lakh will be redemption value for this XYZ bond in case of Mr. A. Okay. So this is again very simple one. Next one, face value. So this is very important one. So many times examiner they generally ask this question or even if you want to understand bond or whenever you invest in bonds, you'll find this particular term. Okay. So face value, which is generally mentioned on the uh, face of that particular bond. Okay. So let's say there is a bond issued by government of India. So you'll find the face value of this XYZ bond is rupees 100. Suppose that. Okay. So the face value of this bond is 100 rupees. And now you'll find one another term, place value. So play, like let's say place value, you want to invest in 5 units. So place value will be 5. So 100 into 5, your investment will be 500 in that particular case. Okay. Or even we have different, different lots and all. So it is also known as par value. So par value, which is stated on the face of that particular bond. Okay. Which is like you will find government of India. So the notary sign and uh, the face value is 100 rupees in this particular case. Suppose that. Okay. Uh, it represents the amount borrowed by the uh, firm which uh, it promised to repay after a specific period of time. So there is an instrument or there is a bond which is issued by suppose that TCS. So TCS they made, they made a promise that the face value of this bond is 100 rupees and they, they, they'll pay. Uh, at the rate of 8% per annum uh, for the maturity period is suppose that 10 year. So this is this is called your um, place value, sorry face value or a uh, par value. This is your coupon rate and this is your maturity period in case of that particular bond. Hope this is clear. Face value and place value. Place value is basically in multiple of. Okay, let's say if uh, place value is 5. So your investment will be 100 into 5. So in multiple of 5. Okay, next point we are going to cover that is place value. So place value, it can be like 2, 5, 4, 8, 6. So here, let's say your place value is suppose that 5. And um, uh, uh, so it is in multiple of. So your face value was 5 and place value was 5 and 2, 1000. You purchase 1000 unit of that particular one. So your face, your place value will be 5000 for that particular uh, instruments. So place value is defined as a digit multiplied uh, whenever it is placed either by 100 or 1000. So it can be like if it is 100, so it is 500. If it is 1000, it will be 5000. So place value is basically what is what is the overall amount that is invested by investors in any XYZ bond? Okay, so Mr. X, suppose that this is the case of Mr. X who invested five, uh, um, who invested 1000 unit and the face value of that particular bond, which is stated on the face of this particular bond was 5 rupees. So it is 5 into 1000. Okay, if the place value is 100, so it will be 500 only. Okay, so again, very simple one. Next one is market value. So market value generally uh, it is based on the factor prices or <clears throat> market factors that which is which are demand and supply. Okay. So uh, face value or we can say market value can be differed from uh, the face value. Let's say face value of a bond is 100 rupees. So market value can be uh, it can be 110, it can be 95 rupees or any other. So that totally depend on the performance of that particular bond. So a bond traded on a stock exchange traded means you can buy or sell that particular security on a stock exchange like BSC, NSC. Market value is the price at which the bond usually bought or bought or sold uh, in uh, the uh, stock exchanges. Okay. So which means that is totally depend on the uh, on the investors' expectations. Okay. So let's say. Uh, the face value of that particular bond was rupees 100 and the market price, the current market price, seller side and buyer side. So say, let's say buyer side, seller side, it is 110 and buyer side, it is 108. So let's say after some time, there is an investor who buy this particular one in 109 rupees. So this is the market price for this particular bond. So last trade price or you can say market value or market price. So market price can be differed from the uh, your uh, face value or par value. So 
how you will calculate the entire market value so the number of buyers number of sellers okay so in that particular xyz fund or in uh, xyz bonds but here let's say they issue a um, 1000 unit at the rate of 100 so that will be their face value but here 109 into then 1000 units so that will be the outcome will be the market value of that particular bond so market value can differ from the face value of that particular bond so market value may be uh, different from the par value or the redemption value of that particular bond so which already discussed hope this is clear now day count convention again this is very important one so day count convention is let's say uh, there is an investor who invested money as on uh, uh, 2nd of February 2023 okay so he invested in market on 2nd of February uh, 2023 okay and he redeemed this particular money on uh, suppose that it is August 15 2023 so now how we will calculate the interest rate for this uh, this particular investment so we do have different different methods so they are generally known as day count convention okay so it can be like um, uh, 30 uh, 36 uh, 3365 it can be like where we are generally assuming a month as a 30 days it can be like uh, it can be uh, like uh, 365 365 which means uh, we are calculating each and every day 2nd february to 15 days let's say it is 45 or 85 days okay so we will pay the rate of interest for 85 days only so that is day count conventions okay so interest payment are made based on the uh, day count uh, method uh, which is followed so we do have different different one like first one is actual 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 means he invested on 2nd february and he redeemed on uh, 15th of uh, august okay so let's say in between the total number of days are let's say 85 or 90 days so we will pay the rate of interest for these 90 days only okay that is called actual actual so 365 365 actual 365 so where we are assuming the year the number of days in a year is 365 days so where even in case of a leap year days in the um, year would be considered as 365 days okay so we will not adjust this leap year so we are calculating days as a days in a year as a 365 uh, days okay then we have actual 360 so where we are assuming days in a year are 360 and uh, uh, so that will generally that is generally known as actual 360 then we have 30 uh, 360 as i earlier told you so we are calculating the months or the, the days in a months are 30 okay so that generally known as 36 360 so basically guys um, day count convention or nothing it is like uh, it is generally used for the redemption purpose so whenever we make payouts so we use different different it can be actual actual it can be actual 360 or it, it can be 30 360 it is generally mentioned in the documents of the bonds whenever you purchase some bonds so you if you study the uh, the, the uh, features of that particular bond so you will find this particular day count convention as well so hope this is clear to all of you now next these were some major terminologies or some basic terminologies which are which are generally involved in bonds or they are generally very close to bonds so to understand this bonds or whenever you study the bond valuation whenever you calculate the yield to maturity okay so you need to understand these particular features okay so when we'll do the calculation part so you need to remember these particular one because they are very important to use uh, the concepts uh, regarding the calculation of YTM okay now types of bonds types of bonds are nothing like we have different different type of issuers like the some bonds are issued by government of India they are they called sovereign bonds we there are some bonds which are generally issued by state government some municipal government so municipal bonds okay uh, there are there are some bonds which are um, related to um, in uh, inflation okay to to protect the interest of investors from inflation so we have inflation index bond okay so we have different different issuers or we have different different uh, features of bonds on the basis of these particular bonds they are uh, like we have different different categories as well so bonds are often divided into different different categories like tech saving 
we have uh, credit quality, issuer bonds, maturity, inflation covered, secured, unsecured, and all. So I'll show you all this. In our next video, we will discuss the detail of bonds, like detail type of bonds. Like we have different number of type of bonds. So we will discuss these particular bonds in a uh, detailed manner. So we have fixed rate of interest, which means where the rate of interest is fixed. Let's say if you invest 1 lakh rupees, so your rate of interest is 8% per annum for 10 years. So every year you will get 10% rate, 8% rate of interest in this particular one. Another one is floating. Floating means variable. So where this rate of interest will vary. So we have different different indices like LIBOR, MIBOR. So we use these particular indices to calculate the rate of interest for, for a specific time duration. Okay. So floating is where rate of interest are varies on a yearly basis. Okay. Zero coupon bonds. So zero coupon bonds. So many time examiner ask question based on G, uh, zero coupon bonds. So where um, if you see uh, there is no assets rate of interest mentioned on these kind of bonds. So let's say the face value is uh, 100 rupees and at the time of investment basically they ask you to invest 90 rupees only. So they'll say you invest 90 rupees after one year we will give you 100 rupees. So where there is no rate of interest is mentioned or there is no coupon rate is mentioned. So these kind of bonds are generally known as zero coupon bond okay where no coupon rate is mentioned so but the logic is you invest 90 rupees after one year will give you 100 rupees so you are getting rate of interest but there is as such no rate of interest mentioned okay inflation link bonds basically these are um, uh, like if there is a high inflation in the markets which means the value of your domestic currency will goes down so to protect the interest of um, investors so there are some inflation index bonds it can be like inflation whatever the inflation they use the formula of uh, uh, equal to or greater than then like we have uh, let, let's say if the there is a xyz inflation bonds this is an in, in, inflation bonds where they mention whatever the inflation price they'll give you plus two percent rate of interest which means if inflation goes to let's say at the time of issuance inflation was five percent now it become 15 percent okay so in that particular case to protect your real income they'll give you 15 plus 2 percent which is 17 percent rate of interest on this particular bond and another case if we do not have inflation bonds let's say the rate of interest on this particular bond was 10 percent okay but during this particular period inflation increased by 15 percent on an average inflation in the economy was 15 percent so if you calculate the real income so real income formula is your rate of interest 10 percent minus 15 percent so your investment will goes uh, go in negative okay so you you do not make any money from that particular investment so to protect these kind of activities in the market we have inflation bond we'll discuss these one in detail as well in our next video perpetual bonds these are kind of shares subordinated these are part of debt but whenever uh, any company go for the liquidation so first these are not the first priority okay first they pay the other debt then they uh, distribute the uh, subordinated bonds debt okay uh, so these are risky in nature we can say corporate bonds these are issued by corporate houses okay let's say TCS issue some bonds to raise fund for 10 years so that is generally known as corporate bonds tax-free bonds so basically these are green bond infrastructure bonds so government of India they time to time release these kind of bonds and they said like if you invest in these kind of bonds you, you do not need to pay any taxes for that particular investment okay so they are like exempt 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 category bonds uh, public sector bonds issued by government of india or government of like, public sector enterprises municipal issued by municipal authorities local authorities state government issued by state government central government issued by central government or we can say government of india so on the basis of issuers or on the basis of the feature of that particular bond we have different different type of bonds okay so guys um, in this particular video we generally talk about uh, the basics of bond what is bond and how the concept of bond work okay so hope this is clear to all of you still if you have any query please do mention in comment section and guys one thing like whenever you plan to study the debt market so debt market means bond market okay so you need to know about these particular features because these are very basic terms
to understand the bond valuation or uh, the YTM concept as well. Okay, so whenever you go for the YTM calculation, so you will face like you will find there is a place value, there is a face value, there is a market value, there is a redemption value. Okay, so to understand those particular term, you need to know about these particular features as well. So hope this is clear. Next video we will talk about the uh, uh, different different type of bonds in detail as well. Okay, so this is it. Thank you for watching this video guys. Bye bye. Take care all. Have a nice day.